How to factory reset a Motorola Moto G. Welcome to one of how to smartphones tutorial videos. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do a factory reset on the Moto G. Uh, what the factory reset does, it just removes all the information, all the data off the device, uh, clears it, gets it back to that factory setting um, as, as if it were a new phone. You were starting to back up, it will take to that hello startup screen. Um, so the way to do that, so let's say you're selling your phone, getting rid of it, trading it in, whatever the case is, you want to remove all your information off of it. Um, so I would recommend backing everything up, saving all the information you have on there, um, and then doing this reset. So in this in this video, I'm just showing you guys how to do the reset. The stuff on here that I have, um, I don't really care too much about. You know, I got a couple screenshots, change the background, stuff like that. Nothing too big, nothing too important. Um, I have no contacts in here, so uh, it'll remove all the contacts, everything that you have. Any text messages that you have this will also get removed. Stuff like that. Any data, content, and stuff that is on the device will be removed when you do this factory reset. So the way to do the factory reset is go into settings. The way I go into settings is swipe down from the top twice. And I hit this little gear icon right here. Um, it'll take you to something like this. Go ahead and scroll down until you see systems. And select that. Once you are in systems, go into advanced. Um, and right here we see reset options. So go ahead and click that. Uh, the first two don't apply to us. Erase all data. So it just says factory reset. That is the one that we are going to be looking for. And here it says erase all data, which is a factory reset. This will erase all data from your phone's internal storage. So if you have an SD card in there, a memory card, external storage, this will not delete it. Um, this will remove everything on the device. Um, and it says including your Google account. It's not deleting your Google account. It's just removing it from the device. System and app data. Uh, and settings, so any settings that were set on the device will get removed. Downloaded apps, that will not delete the apps that you have purchased. It will just remove apps that are installed on your device. So if you were to log in with your um, information onto another device, you're able then to download those apps for free that you are removing off the, this device. Any music, photos, or um, other user data, contacts, stuff like that, will all be wiped. It'll all be removed. So it's asking, are you sure you want to do that? We can go ahead and hit erase all data. And it says erase all data. All your personal information, including downloaded apps and sims, um, will be deleted. You cannot undo this action. So by um, the the sims, is it does not terminate your service agreement with a cell provider. Um, that card will still be active. You will still be able to take that, put it into another card, and use it. Um, this will not delete your service. So just keep that in mind. So it's just asking deleting everything off the device. I'll go ahead hit erase all data. And then here it's starting the factory data reset. It's going to be clearing everything, removing everything, getting everything off, and getting it back to that hello startup screen. Um, I will jump through some of these and get it back to that home screen just to show you guys that um, what it removes, what it takes off, and what it looks like when you do that factory reset. So I did not have any kind of um, Android or any kind of... Uh, anything signed in on this device, you know, any Google accounts, stuff like that. So um, I ha if you have that, you you will physically need to go in there and remove it. Or when you're going to start up on from the hello screen, it's going to be asking you that information. Hey, here's a device. This was this account was signed in. You need to add the password in order to fully reset it, that type of thing. So um, I did not have one signed in. Um, let's just go ahead, run through this and get back to that home screen and I'll show you guys. Uh, and, and if you were signed in during this during this reactivation, whatever you want to call it, this startup, the second startup um, is when you will see that um, screen. There will be a screen that will pop up that'll, that says, hey, you're signed in with this account. Add, you know, add the password, put in the password to remove that account off the device. And now it's doing the startup, um, getting us that hello moto as if you were to power your device off and back on. This this uh, portion takes, you know, takes a couple seconds to kind of get through. Every time you start it up, it most of the time it does all this stuff. So this is just regular startup procedure for the for this Motorola Moto G. This is the stylus one. They should all be fairly similar if you're running the same operating system. And just like that, it just jumped right to the screen. Um, this is that startup screen. It says um, United States, English. we we'll go ahead and hit start. I'm just going to go ahead and jump through these. It's asking for a SIM card. I'm going to skip. I'm going to be connecting to my uh, Wi-Fi, using the Wi-Fi to connect to the internet provider. I'm just going to go ahead and type that in here. Now that, now that I got my password in, I'm going to go ahead and hit connect, obtaining IP, connecting to the Wi-Fi. 
Now it's checking for updates. Um, this may take a few minutes, so bear with it. And as you guys can see, there were updates that needed installing, so now it is installing updates. And now it's asking us if we want to copy apps. Um, I'm going to hit select don't copy. Um, let's say I'm re removing all this stuff to get rid of the device, sell it, trade it away, whatever the case may be. Maybe I want none of my information on there, so I'm going to be skipping over anything like that that will say, hey, back up your device, um, stuff like that. So sign into a Google account. I'll be skipping. Um, are you sure you want to skip it? So I'm going to skip just because I don't want any of my personal information on there. And then gonna go ahead, scroll down, terms and agreement type stuff. I'm gonna go ahead, hit accept. Set a screen lock, um, I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna skip saying, hey, you sure you want to bypass any of your stuff? Bypass all your security. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the security, adding this uh, the finishing touches. This may take a few minutes and that was quick. Um, about your privacy, terms and agreement stuff, accept and continue. I'm just gonna go ahead, it's asking for any kind of, um, it's asking for an email, so I'm just gonna go ahead, hit next. Carry your location access. If you want permission on off, I'm just gonna turn it off. Um, and now it says a new way to get uh, to navigate. It's gonna go through some of the steps. I'm just gonna jump through those, skip. And here it's, it says give it a try. Um, swipe up to go to the home screen. You can manage your navigation services from there. It's just kind of giving you a, a heads up on how to run and operate the device if you are new to Motorola. So there you guys have it. Now we are back on the home screen, as you guys can see. Um, let's go to my photos. As you guys can see, nothing is in there. Um, nothing's in there. No photos, no screenshots, nothing like that fresh device obviously you guys can see it's asking me to sign in and get into all my information once again i had no no contacts or nothing but you know go to the phone obviously there's nothing there recent contacts nobody's in there and no no messages either different home screen from the previous so there you guys have it that is how to do a factory reset deleting clearing all your information off the motorola moto g hope you guys found this video helpful if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up if you know somebody looking for this information please do share it with them and if you guys like to see other helpful tips and tricks on the motorola moto g be sure to check out that playlist in the description below thank you guys for watching have a good day